That's my best friend. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Shonda, and this is Mangles Closet. Thank you so much for joining me again. Today, you guys, we are going to be talking about some new products that Red Bubble came out with. Of course, you know I'm excited about it. I'm always I'm always excited when they come out with new items and products because that gives us a chance to make more money, okay? So I'm going to teach you an easy way how to enable these products without having to go back through every single item that you have already made and activate them so they are available on your pre-existing designs. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you do share this video with someone who it may be helpful for. So, you guys, what is up with you today? I'm so excited about the new items that Redbubble have come out with. It seems like they are just coming out with item after item because, you know, like, Last week they came out with the hats. This week it's the desk pad, the desk, what is it, a desk pad and a mouse. No, it's a desk mat and a mouse pad. That's what it is, the desk, desk mat <laughs> and a mouse pad. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about those today. We're going to actually do a um, create an item. I think these will be really great for like, you know, people, um, a lot of people are working at home now, a lot of people do gaming, a lot of people do the stock market, so you can just be creative and make all kinds of designs. So I'm going to show you one design today, we're going to make that, and then I'm also going to show you guys how to go ahead and enable it. The the um, desk mats and the mouse pads aren't um, active yet. But you can see them and you can start putting your um, designs on them. So when they become active, you know, they'll just enable them. They'll just automatically be enabled. So you want to start making designs right now. Anytime you see any of the items that says coming soon, you can still put your design on it. But it's just not active yet. So I think they should be active in probably like the next week or so because the hats are active already. So want to go ahead and show you how to do that so first things first you guys I'm excited to be sharing this new drink with you so I just came back from the international market here and I found this mango drink I have never tried it before and I'm going out of my norm because this one here is 120 calories which I did not like but it looked so good I don't know if you can see that but it's kind of like little I don't know if that's like coconut inside of there. So it just looks so refreshing. And I was just like, I have to try this and I have to um, show them this because I've never seen this before in like a regular grocery store, but it's called the mango juice drink and it's by Parrot. So I'll probably just drink a little bit of it. This is a 9.8 ounce and it's like um, the whole bottle is 120 calories and it does have a lot of sugar in it, 29 grams, which I'm not a fan of, but I wanted to try it for myself and for you guys. So let's open this up and try it. Oh, and then I was excited because I came up to the cash register and I have been eyeing these. If you have tried these already, let me know. These are like a green tea Kit Kat. So we're gonna try these today too. Um, I love green tea latte, so I figure like it may be pretty good. So we'll see. But let me open my green drink. It's kind of hard for me. Oh, hold on. My hands are wet. Okay. So a little. I'm just gonna pour a little in my glass because I'll probably save some for tomorrow or something like half and half because all of that sugar is not good for you so you know i stress like low calorie low sugar drinks but this looks good it kind of reminds me of like a tang or maybe like one of the crystal light drinks 
it looks like it may be kind of thick so let's try it mm. it's not really as thick as it appears but So those little bits are just like little pieces of mango. It's really pretty good. I mean, it goes down really smooth. So, well, I guess on here is saying that those are, that's like coconut. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, it's coconut. So they're little gelled coconut pieces. That's what that is, so. Yeah, it's pretty refreshing. I mean, I can see how you can drink the whole bottle. But yeah, it's called the Parrot Drink. I'll put the description. I, I haven't checked to see if it's on um, Amazon yet, but I will put the description in the link below. If I mean, in the um, description below, put the link in the description below if it is so you guys could try it out. But I kind of like it, but... I don't know the calories. Look at this. I thought it was going to be like one long crispy bar, but they're like really miniature, which is cool for me because it's like a little snack. And I guess from getting in at the international store, it's pretty much has the, um, what is that, like Chinese writing or Japanese? I don't know has that on it but let's try it unless I got my handy dandy scissors so cut that open this is the first me eating on here but this is how it looks it's green I guess it would be cool for Halloween right if it's good I used to love Kit Kats when I was little between Kit Kats and um, what was my other favorite? Oh, M&M's. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty good. I like it. It tastes just like my green tea latte. With the crunch. Mmm. Hmm. You guys definitely want to try this one. It seems light, but let's see what's in it. Okay, 55 calories. Sugar. 0.7. It looks like it says 0. 0.7. Yeah. I don't know because, oh, here it is. So it's 60 calories for one piece. Um, 3.5 grams of fat and 2 grams of sugar. So not bad if you just eat one. So it's a couple in there. See that? It's a couple in there. I would say probably like 15, 20. But yeah, these are pretty good. So I have seen like a whole Kit Kat, the green tea one at the regular store. But since I was in the market, I just picked up the bag. But those are good. So if you want to try them out, I'll put the link in the description for that. So let's get into it, you guys. So first we're going to do, we're going to go over to Red Bubble. Okay, so for this one I'm going to be using, let's find my design. I'm going to be using Pixabay today, you guys. I talked about Pixabay, Pixabay in a couple other of my, of my videos, but haven't used it recently, so let's give it a go. So let's do, let's do some desk pads and mouse pads we're going to focus on those um extremely exclusively today let's do the desk pad desk mat and the mouse pad 
Mm. Yeah, let's do those today. We're going to ex exclusively focus on those two. So I'm going to disable everything else just so we can focus on those two. And my idea is we're going to do something for a... I was, gonna, I was thinking about gamers, but I think I'm going to do like stock market traders. So there's a lot of people now who um, are starting to do like the stock market trading and everything as their job. And those people are making lots of money. I have not um, got into that, like trading and everything. Just never learned about it. But I do dibble and dab in some of the, uh, you know, coins and things like that. But anyway, let's get into it. So I'm going to type in stock. I'm going to put stock op options just to find some. Okay. Okay. Let's see what they have here. Scroll on down. This would be a nice desk pad because this is what you're doing all day. And then here's the money. So it could be motivational. That's a nice one. Let me see what else we have here. Oh, these down here um, you have to pay for. So let's scroll back up. I think I need to put... Put something else in. You could do something like that, but I feel like that's kind of boring. This is a good one, but that's you have to pay on that one. Let me see. Mm. Come on, come on, come on. Go back. And put in stock trading. Okay, so it's pretty much the same pictures. What if I put stock market? All right, pretty much the same thing. All right, so. Those are going to be pretty much the same pictures. So let's go with this one. Wait, let, let me see what else they have down here. They're all pretty boring. Let's, let's, let's go over to video games because these are kind of boring. I want something that's going to be fun. Video game. Video gamer. No, we went back to stock stuff, video. Okay. Let's play video games. Dude, what are you doing? Okay, all right, so if we scroll down, we have a couple different video game some video game control something like this would be cool let's try that one it's an old school that's old school what is this game you guys background video game I used to play that is it space invaders or something like that if you know, put it in the comments below. Let me know. But I remember playing. I was never good at video games because I would just always lose. <laughs> but I still play like Pac-Man and stuff like that when I see it. at the. Um, we go to this place called Game Works here in Las Vegas. So we take my nephews and, you know, they play like the more modern games. What are they called? Night. Fortnite and stuff like that and me and my sister we we look for Pac-Man and I think so this was Space Invaders let's let's go with this one does it say it on here no it just says freaking retro games 80s aliens <laughs> I think it was Space Invaders if you know put it in the comments for me all right, so we're going to download this one. Not a robot. 
Okay. Let's get the chimneys out of here. Where are you? Here you go. Okay. So we want to download that. You guys, I might have to drink this whole thing because it is really good. Maybe do an extra little workout tonight before I go to bed or a walk or something. <laughs> mm, okay, here we go. All right, so we have this one. Now, it's the JPEG, and let's go back over to our Red Bubble and upload some work. Not really sure of the size right now, but I'm just going to kind of go with this. And if I have to resize it, then I'll have to come out and do what I got to do. All right. So we're going to call this Space Invaders. Retro Aliens Eighties. All right, put your tags in, whatever you want to do. Um, aliens, etc., etc. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. You guys already know the drill. You can go find it, um, you know, find some more tags on other people's um, items and things like that who have done like similar things. All right, so there is the cap. That's how it looks on the cap. But like I said, we're going to, most of this stuff is disabled because I think this artwork may be really small, so it may not even fit the, um, no, it doesn't fit my space mat. So let's go in here and see what size this needs to be. For my desk mat, since that's going to be bigger than the mouse pad, if I make this the correct size, it should cover that as well. So my desk mat needs to be 8268 by 4331. All right. So let me go over here and get my artwork. So I'm going to go up here to my tools. I'm going to adjust my size. And it was... Okay, and then I just like to change this to a thousand. But let me see, is this going to wait a minute? This is going, this might change. I'm just going to put a hundred because I think this is a JPEG. Yes, it is. Okay, so. See, it's going to stretch it because it's a JPEG. Let me undo undo this. And then I need to change it to a... I'm going to change it to a PNG so it won't stretch. PNG. Okay, so... I'm going to put this on my desktop. And then I need to go over here. Find this. Oh, you guys, too, um, if you have the Rolo, Apple recently did a an update, so okay. So you may have to go ahead and put your put your um, information in again. 
to reset it because when I did my update, it got rid of it got rid of my printer, my Rolo printer information. So I had to go back in. All right, let's try it now. It got rid of my um, printer information, so I had to go back in and reset it, download it, and everything again. So just to let you know, if you're like wondering. What the heck happened to your Rolo printer? That's what happened. All right, so let's upload this one and see what happens. Oh, something quit. Let me see. Preview unexpectedly quit. Happen. Let me try this again. Let me make sure it's the right side. Oh, and that's probably what quit. It didn't. Let's terminate that. It didn't resize it. It just quit. Like, sucks to be you. Okay, so adjust the size again. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't adjust it. So I'm just gonna put 80 68 by let's try this again so we're gonna replace this image and let me make sure okay so it's the right size now all right so let's upload that and then I want to do the same thing for this mouse pad so these are you guys start making these designs because like I said people are going to be working from home and a lot of people are still going to school a lot of students are still going to be homeschooled and things like that so they're going to need these items so let's go see so this is how it's going to look It's all right. I mean, it's nothing exciting, but I'm just trying to show you guys like how to make it. So then I'm going to go over here and do the same. I'm going to enable this. I'm going to do the same thing for my mouse pad. I'm going to replace this image. This one is 2559 by 2165. So I'm just going to use that same one. Mm hmm use the same one and you could scale it you could scale it but since it's a PNG it's not really gonna you know stretch or anything like that but you can scale it or you can just go ahead and resize it if you like it's up to you so I think it's pretty cool it's gonna be colorful Look at this. So let's go down. Let's go back to edit. And see, it scaled down to 51%. So yeah, you could do that. Scale it up. That, apply your changes. And then, let me see. I'm going to disable this postcard. And like I said, you can make as many designs as you like. Just make sure the sizes are correct. Because I see a lot of people on here and they don't go in and resize like this. It'll just show just like that on the screen, you know, when you're trying to order something. And I don't know if they think that looks good. It doesn't. It's just not right. You have to go in and size, resize your images. It does take a while, you guys, but 
you got to just take your time and do it and know that the more products you have, the better chances of a sale that you're going to get. But if you leave it like this, nobody's going to buy it. And they may just be frustrated and skip, just skip the whole thing. Like, I'm not going to deal with it. But just if you're not going to resize it, go in and disable it. Just disable like I'm showing you right now so it won't show online. Look at this button. See, these are the buttons used to look back in a day. It's pretty cool. So, but what I would do is, see, I would even, like... I will make this bigger and then resize it. Oh, it won't go down that, that far because of the, the size, but I'm just going to disable that one. Okay. Prime changes, even though I didn't make any. Make sure, I'm just making sure everything is disabled now because I don't want any of my items showing up like that. Like when I first started, I didn't know what I was doing. I had items showing up like this. But that's why I do these videos for you guys to help you guys out because you don't want to have stuff like this. But a lot of times people don't even know, you know, how to change it or they're just looking at it like that's how it came out. But, yeah, you have to go in and resize them. Look at this little face mask. So, but it still needs some work on it, but we're not doing that today. All right, so we're down to the bottom of this thing, and let's see how it looks. Yep, you guys. I really like this with this. A little coconut type thing. All right. All right. So here we go. Space Invaders Retro Aliens 80s. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool, you guys? Like, what gamer would not want this for their desk mat or mouse pad? Tell me. Tell me. It's given I want to be here all day long playing this game. Right? So, yeah, you guys, I wanted to just let you know, go ahead and get on it. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to enable everything. So, what you want to do is um, you want to go to your, you want to go to manage your por portfolio. So, go to your icon and click on manage portfolio here. And then once you get there, you're going to see this little box here that says search for your works. You're going to click on it. All right. So now once you click on it, it's going to check mark all of your work. So basically it's going to select everything. And then now that shirts are coming out, like I said, they're not able, I mean, not shirts, but the mouse, the desk mats and the mouse pads are coming out. They will be on here once they are active. But like this A-line dress, I don't even, I haven't made dresses because I just feel like some of my artwork, I guess I got to get over that because I feel like, you know, I wouldn't want to see that on a dress, but I can't go about what I feel. You know, I got to give it to the people what they might want. You know, you never know. There's something for everyone. But so for in the next week or two, check back to see if the mouse pads and the desk mats are on here, and then all you do is select it. And then all of your work is going to be on the um, mouse pad. But the one thing I'm not sure of with that size, you still will have to go back and resize it. That's why, like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to resize it. It's not going to resize it for you. Because I did do... Um, something just to test this out and I got an email saying that one of them failed and I'm thinking it's because of the size now some of the sizes may fit especially if you have done like a shower curtain or something because I know that's kind of like bigger artwork but just check on it that's that's what I'm gonna say but going forward make your artwork to um, accommodate your desk mats and mouse pads <laughs> all right you guys my name is Shonda and I am so happy that you joined me again 
Thank you so much. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. Again, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And also let me know what you'd like to see next on the video. Um, I think I'm going to, I think I said this in the last video that I was going to do backpacks. So I'm going to do that one um, next time because of school and everything. And backpacks, some nice coin for the backpacks. I'm not sure. I never sold a backpack yet. So if you have, let me know. Um, but I guess if you, I never really um, focus on them. So I guess if you focus on them and kind of. Do what needs to be done for them then they probably could get a sale you know as far as what's trending things like that so so we'll do that on the next video all right all right you guys so i will see you in the next one thank you so much have a great day bye